I'm going to explain some theory about how an object's vibration changes when we modify the object, uh, and in particular when we attach things to an object. That's particularly relevant for a lot of musical instruments, but it's really relevant for drums because drums are very much uh, made up of lots of things bolted together. We've got a drum shell and we've got loads of hardware and lugs and drum hoops and uh, drum heads attached to it. So the drum itself is a combination of things all attached together. And I just want to show an example of how that affects the frequencies of those uh, items that make up the drum. So to do that, I'm just going to start with a, a tuning fork. And uh, this is a, a tuning fork, which, um, I don't know if you can hear that, which I can measure the frequency of with eye, eye drum tunes. So, oh, I want, so if we go into pitch mode, we get a frequency of 174 hertz. So that's the tuning fork. It's natural frequency, that's the frequency it likes to vibrate at, that's an F note, uh, so we can use that for tuning to musical scales. Well, let's just go to spectrum analyzer mode. I'll take a few more readings, so it's really delicate. It doesn't make much, much volume, but if I t tap it gently with the mallet, I can get enough frequency. pick up a nice tone there you go nice sine wave of that so that's its natural frequency 174 hertz i'm just going to add to it a little bit of metal so this is actually a little a little screw thread from a microphone attachment so i'm just adding a bit of metal to it i don't know if you can see that there uh to make it to add a bit of weight to it so this is equivalent to attaching some more weight to it and now if we take a, a reading of the frequency And we see that's come down to 160 hertz. So that's come down 14, 13, 14 hertz just by adding a very small piece of metal to the tuning fork. Um, now, if I add another piece, so I've got another one here. So now I'm just adding that to the other side, pushing on fairly tight. So now we've got two bits of metal hanging on my tuning fork. They're not touching, it should still vibrate. Okay, let's take a reading of that now. There we go, see its frequency is now down at 146 hertz. So that's come down just by adding two little bits of metal. That frequency of the tuning fork has changed from 174 hertz down to 146 hertz. That's quite a long way. There's quite a new few notes if you were on a piano. That's actually quite a few notes on the piano. Um, let's just do it in reverse. So we're at 146. I'll take this one off. Should go back up. So it's now gone back up to 160.5 hertz. And if I take the last one off. It's now gone back up to 174 hertz. So that just shows the theory of how adding mass to a vibrating object changes its frequency. So if that if that tuning fork is, is used to tune uh, to, to help us tune a musical instrument, well, it has to be the f perfect frequency and we have to make sure that it has nothing attached to it. As soon as we add something to it, its frequency changes. And at that point, it's irrelevant what its frequency was before because it's not like we can consider the different components added together. Actually, as soon as we add them together, they create a whole new vibrating system that vibrates in a whole new way. And so it's only when we know what the complete system is that we really can take a measurement of its frequency. Luckily, a tuning fork is 
designed to be used with nothing uh, attached to it. But in the case of drums, well, actually, we, we add things to drums. We start with a clean shell. We add some lugs. We add the hoops. We had, so, uh, so in another experiment, we'll look at how the, that affects the frequency of drums. But this gives us an overview of the kind of theory that we're um, uh, looking at in terms of analysing the vibration of a drum shell, let's say.